Forward Operating Base Airborne is in for some major changes. Crews across the base are hard at work tearing down and preparing assets for an eventual base handover. Airmen and soldiers both work to contribute to this vital mission. Today we're tearing apart the former gym for this base and uh, we're consolidating all the parts, inventorying, packing it up and getting it ready for shipment. This gym is being torn down to help reduce the absent footprint across Afghanistan. The stage we're at today is more the main body. We're pulling all the fabrics first, and then we work on lowering the arches to disassemble. The gym reconstruction, it's, uh, it's an Air Force gym. Um, a, lot of, a lot of what we're doing right now is maintaining accountability of property flowing out. So the Air Force has come back in to reclaim that gym so that it can be taken apart, packaged, retrograded, and used at a later date. As part of the U.S. Force's plan for a responsible transition, structures like the Air Force gym come down and T-walls like these come up to create an inner perimeter of security. Uh, the setting up the T-walls is a slightly difficult process at the beginning. We've never done it before. So we started up the top with the loader and realized that wasn't going to work. So then we brought up the crane and we stood the T-walls up with the loader and we rigged them up with the crane and the bridle set them into place, level the ground, set the T-walls into place, and move down. Stepping down the hill was a whole other issue. We brought them down the hill, then we had to step them each individually one at a time. I'd say some of the positives that we got from this is that we worked pretty well together as a unit, and as we went on, everything went together pretty much flawlessly towards the end here. With efforts from airmen and soldiers alike, retrograde operations will successfully continue. Reporting from Forward Operating Base Airborne, I'm Sergeant Joe Delapena.